Hello everyone, in today's video we will be making a crochet sling bag. So we would need a DK weight yarn and we would need a 5mm crochet hook. To start the bag we will be doing a slip knot and then we will start with chain. And do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, So we want to make a length of 6 inch. So I'm just going to quickly check if that is 6 inch. Yep, it looks like it's roughly 6 inch. So that was 24 chain. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the first round of single crochet. So I'll go on the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. So I will continue doing single crochet till I reach the end of the row. So I've done till the end of the row. I just turned and done a chain one. Now we will be going in the first stitch and doing a single crochet. So do you find every stitch and just do a single crochet till the end of the row so we will be doing two rows of single crochet and then we will be starting our v stitch so i'm just going to continue doing this till i reach the end of the row so now we finished the end of the second row so now we will be chaining one two and then we'll skip the first chain and then go ahead and do a double crochet so I'm just going to do a double crochet and then do a chain one and then do another double crochet so that's a first V as you can see so now I'm going to skip the next one as well and again do a double crochet so I've done the first double crochet then I will be chaining one and then I will go in the same stitch and do another double crochet this forms your V if you see can you see so this is one double crochet then there's a chain one then there's another double crochet in the same stitch so I'm gonna go ahead again skip the next stitch and then go to the other stitch and then do a double crochet and then now I'm going to do a chain one and then again in the same stitch I'm going to go and do a double crochet. So this is how our V stitch will look like. So we will be continuing doing this till the end of the row. So I'm going to finish till the end of the row and then explain further. So again skip the next stitch, go into a stitch and do a double crochet, chain one and then again in the same stitch do a double crochet so that's how the pattern is and I'll continue doing till the end of the row so if you can see I've reached almost the end of the row and so I'm gonna skip this and in this last stitch I won't be doing a V stitch what I will be doing is a double crochet so I'm just gonna do and do a double crochet so this is how it's going to look like so now again i'm going to be chaining one two and then this time we will be going and doing a double crochet in the chain one space of the v stitch so in this one so i'm just going to do a double crochet then do a chain one and then again do a double crochet so can you see and again then I'll find the next chain one space of the V stitch and then do a double crochet same again chain one and then do another double crochet so if you can see so the V's will sit in every V stitch of the previous row 
so I'll just do it again the last one just to show you so again we'll go in the chain one space of the next V stitch and do a double crochet then again do a chain one and then again do a double crochet so that's going to be forming your V stitches and then again we'll come here as we'll do a V stitch and again a the last stitch will be the double crochet and then again turn and chain two so we'll continue doing this till we reach around i'll just double check and show you so we will do this around um five inch which would be roughly around 11 um rows so we i will complete this stitch and do till um the five inch and then come back and show you so we've done around 5.5 inches if you can see and we've done all the V stitches so now we will just turn chain one and then do single crochet in each of the stitches so I'm just gonna go here and do a single crochet then I'm gonna go to the next stitch and do single crochet so you keep doing this till you reach the end of the row so and then i'll come and show you what i'm going to do so we'll finish doing single crochet in each of the stitches till end of the row and i'll come back so i finished doing single crochet till the end of the row what we will do is we'll continue doing the single crochet so now you will chain one and then turn and then start doing single crochet again so we will do single crochet uh, for four more rows like including this one it will be like four more rows um, or it will be like a one inch whichever one depending on your tension so I'm just going to do single crochet till the end of the row as well again chain one and turn and we'll do this till four more rows so this is how the um, four rows of single crochet is looking like and um, it's if I show you it's kind of around one inch if you see roughly around one inch so um, we will be doing two pieces like this and then I'll come back and show you so we have completed both the panels for the back so what I'm going to be doing is I've done um, chain one and we will start basically um, stitching all through this so let's start so wherever you see the gaps you just go ahead and then do a single crochet so you see those gaps So you basically find any gap and keep doing a single crochet all through around. So this is how you're going to be doing. You're going to be wherever you see some gap and then you just keep doing single crochet. So we'll do single crochet all through here and through here as well. And don't worry about it. We'll block everything and we'll have retain its shape. So now I've done the sides, you can see how beautiful it's looking on the side with the finishing. So now we will continue doing some chains. So this will be the sling handle. So you keep doing till the length you want. So you'll just make chains like I'm making here. So you'll keep uh, doing the chains till here and I'll show you. Once I uh, finish them, so it's just going to be few more chains like this. I'm gonna do a uh, few more and then come back and show you. So I've done the chains um, and the. So now I'm going to be going and just attaching it here. So you can do as long as you'd like. So you just basically find the side and then you'll just do and do a slip stitch. So you just do a slip stitch. So I've done the um, sling, you can see. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it in this corner. So you'll just go ahead and do a slip stitch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a chain just to secure it and then I'm just going to also um, leave this in as well and yeah just gonna cut and finish it and show you 
So weave the in and I attach this as well as you can see here. Um, so, so guys, I've decided to do another uh, sling handle on the other side as well. So this is simple. You'll just keep doing um, chain as you did for the other one, and then you just attach it here. So I'll do some and come back and show you. Other handle, and you do till it matches this one and then you just attach it here so I'll do that and then come back so I have finished the other uh, sling strap I'm just gonna measure and see if it's the same size if I've done a few more looks like I have yeah and this is the perfect length so now I'm just gonna go in the corner as I did for the other one this one here and then go ahead and then do a slip stitch and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a chain as well just to secure it and then I'll cut and um, weave the ends so I'm just gonna cut that and then I'm just gonna weave the ends here as well properly so I'm just gonna weave the ends as well but otherwise it's all uh, done now so let me weave the ends and come back so i've done all the ends the sling as well and the body so now what i will be doing is i will be blocking so that the shape is retained but yeah otherwise it's looking like this so i'm pretty happy if you want to put like a button here you could and if you put it on put a lining uh, but i just wanted like this just to put in my mobile and easy to access so so this is how I'm going to be blocking guys. I've just put two pins around here. I'm just going to put another pin here. I've put a few pins here if you can see. So yeah, the shape is looking quite good. So I'll let it block for a day and then uh, it will be ready for use. Thank you so much guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.